Hello all, welcome to part 19 of Cucumber BDD training series. In this session, as a prerequisite for the next session, we are going to learn about the regular expressions in Java. So let's get started. Okay, this is the prerequisite session guys for the next session. So without this knowledge, if you directly jump on to the next session, you will not be able to understand. So let me explain this regular expressions in Java as part of this session as a prerequisite for the next session. Okay, fine. So what are these regular expressions? They are shortly known as regex, okay? Are used to check whether the search pattern is available in the given string text, okay? There are two items, guys. One is pattern, okay, which is a regular expression. Pattern is nothing but a regular expression and the text. So by using this pattern, we have to match this text, okay? If pattern is matching with the string text, then it will return true. Otherwise, it will return false, okay? I'll show you some practical demonstrations, guys, okay? So... I'll open this project and here I'll create a new package, uh, just a temporary package, guys. I'll delete this package afterwards. Okay, learning, temporary learning purpose. Okay, I'll create a new class here. I'll just name this class as demo class and I'll say public static void main. Okay, so a class with public static void main code will be auto generated. Now, inside this main method, I'll write down Okay, I'll write down a predefined class in Java known as pattern class. Okay, this is a predefined class in Java, guys. Pattern dot. When you say pattern dot, you'll get a lot of methods. I'll go with matches method. Okay, this is from Java, guys. Okay, this code is from Java. Matches, you see the regular expression, regex, and here the string text. Okay, the pattern should match the string text, given string text, like that. Okay, put a semicolon here in. Now, firstly, provide the double quotes here and provide a regular expression here. And here, this side, you have to provide the string text, okay? For example, if I say, my name is Arun Muturi, okay? This is the string text. So to match this regular expression, uh, to match the string text, we have to create a regex or pattern kind of stuff, okay? So we should match. So what is that regex I'm going to write here is, okay? Uh, dot asterisk. That means dot asterisk. Uh, it can be zero or one. Okay, this dot means single letter, guys. This zero, uh, this letter can be zero or any number of times. Asterisk means this letter can be repeated any number of times. Okay, this can be anything. It can be a letter, symbol, or number, whatever it is. Okay, it's a kind of single blank. Okay, if yum can fit it or something like that, it can be any number of zero to any number of. And here I'll write Arun. Again, I'll say dot asterisk. After Arun, there can be zero or any number of characters. Okay. Before Arun, zero or any number of characters. After Arun, zero or any number of characters. Okay. So this is a regular expression or regex or pattern I have given to match this text. So this matches has to return some Boolean value. Okay. So Boolean value. So I'll say matching, uh, matching status, matching status. Okay. Over the mouse, the return type of this matches method will add as a declaration for this matching status variable. Okay. Boolean, Boolean, nothing but Boolean. Okay. Now here I'll write down if I'll write down if matching status, if this is true, if the matching status is true, then the pattern has matched. Okay. System dot out dot print here then matched. Okay. I'll say simply say I'll print out matched. That means this pattern is matching with the text. Okay. This pattern is matching the text. Else I'll write down if it is returning false, if this boolean is reading false and system dot out dot print ln not matched i'll simply say not matched okay this is one example guys this is one example so i'll take a lot of other examples guys to get started i have taken this example guys but uh, there is a huge list of uh, patterns and uh, okay patterns that i'm going to use uh, to explain about these regular expressions in short regex okay there are a lot of examples i'm going to take guys with this you'll get complete knowledge of regex or regular expressions okay so just to get started, I'm taking this example of dot star, Arun dot star, okay? So here, now is this pattern matching this text? Now it will be revealed, okay? If I run this code, if it is matched, it's being printed, that means it is matching. You see matched is getting printed, guys. I'll just uh, move it to the left side so that you can see matched. It got matched, okay? What if I put only Arun and remove all this stuff? Is Arun matching with this? My name is Arun, no. Okay, just Arun is only part, but here my name is Arun Motori is there before Arun, after Arun, nothing, no pattern is mentioned. That means it will not match. It will print not matched. Just for the example, I'm taking this guys, not matched. Okay, now let's start learning about this patterns, different part patterns, different regular expressions or regex. Okay, so let's 
So let's get started. So first I will go with this Java example. So guys, if here, if I type Java here, okay. And here in the string text also in the pattern, I type Java in the string text also have type Java. If the, is this pattern matching with this, uh, text? Yes, it is exactly matching, right? Java is equal to Java. Okay. So it, it will say matched. You will get matched in the output. Okay. What if I give capital J in place of the lowercase J, if I give capital J, now it will not match here. Lowercase J is there here. Upper J is there. So it will say not matched. Case also should match. Okay. Not matched. Then, so to overcome this, either it may be lowercase Java or uppercase Java, whatever it is, the first letter can be capital or lower for that. Instead of giving a letter here, single letter here. Okay. The remaining three letters, A, V, A is same, but the first letter I'm going to give as capital J or lowercase J. Either capital J can be there in the first letter or lowercase J can be as part of the first letter. So now, is it matching with Java? Yes, it is matching. Either either this or this should be there as a first letter. So J is there. So J is matching in the square bracket, whatever the two letters you put, either this one or this one will be taken to match this text. You see capital J is matching with Java. So it will say matched. You'll get matched. What if I give lowercase Java? Will this particular pattern will match this uh, Java? Yes, it will match because lowercase J is also there as part of the first letter. Either capital J or lowercase J it will say matched. You'll get matched. What if I give Python here? Completely no match. Okay. This is Java. This is Python. How can they match? Okay. There's no possibility. Not matched will be printed. Okay. Not matched will be printed. Now let's move on. This, this expression. Okay. Uh, y E. Here I'll say in the square brackets, the last letter, last letter of this uh, pattern I'm giving in the square brackets, either it can be last letter can be yes or P. So if I give Y E S, it will match. Okay. It will return true case because Y E is matching with Y E and the last letter can be either S or B. Here S is there, so it will say matched. You'll get matched. Okay, when I run. If I say Y E P, yep. Y E P, it can be S or P. Yes, it will match. Matched will come. Okay, matched has come. What if I give T? The last letter can only be S or P, either S or P, but here T is there, so it will say not matched. Not matched. Then this one, I will take this regular expression, regex pattern or regular expression. And here, the first letter can be either S or F or K. The first letter can be either S or F or K. It can be anything of these three letters. So if I give SIT, it will match. The first letter is S and remaining letters are IT. Okay. It will match. If I give FIT, fit, yes, F is also part of this. It will match. If I give K ticket, yes, K is also there, either S or F or K, it will also match, match will be printed. If I give another thing other than S, F, K, okay, P, A, T, pitch, okay, you see, it will say not matched. Either S or F or K should be the first letter. If not, you'll get not matched, you'll get false. So here dot A, V, A, okay, and the next one is, next regular expression is dot A, V, A, I'll explain you. Here in place of dot, it can be anything, guys. It can be a number, it can be a symbol, it can be a letter, it can be uppercase, it can be a lowercase, it doesn't matter. The dot is a filling blank kind of thing. Okay, remaining AVA should match. What if I give Java here? Yes, it will match. Okay, Java will match. J is an alphabet, it can fill up here. You see, matched. Capital Java. Yes, it will match. AVA is same. It can be anything, dot can be anything. So it will match. Done. Okay. So apart from this, if you give some dollar symbol, it will match. Dot can be anything. If you give a number, it will match. But only one, one should be there. Okay. One feeling should be there. Okay. What if I give 99? It will not match. The last three letters are fine, but here only one dot is there. Here two nines are there. Okay. Here only one should be there, but here two are there. So it will not match. Okay. So L A V A lava. Okay. L can this also will match. Only one letter. That can be a symbol or uh that can be a symbol or anything, guys. Okay, let's run it. Matched. Okay. 
This is called as dot case. Okay, the dot for single character or anything. And this is the next regular expression. Copy paste. First letter can be first position. Uh, thing can be first uh, single letter can be. It can be either zero or nine. Okay, it can be anything from zero to nine. It can be anything from zero to nine. Okay. It cannot take alphabets. First thing cannot be an alphabet. First thing cannot be a symbol. Okay. First thing can only be a number from zero to nine. If you give any other thing other than this zero to nine, you will get a problem. Okay. So if I give nine a.m., it will it will match nine zero to nine. You see, first letters. First thing is matching zero to nine number. Okay. Nine a.m. will match. You can give zero, one, two, three, four, five. Anything will match. Five a.m. also will match. Matched will come. But if I give some alphabet, okay. S A M Sam that will give not matched. It, it should, the first thing should first letter should be only number case. Okay, see it's not matching. If you give any symbol hash A M hash A M if I say that will say not matched. Will say not matched. Okay, so it should be only from zero to nine. You can give any number from zero to nine. Okay, the next one. This is the next regular expression. So here, if you see, guys, the first letter should be the lower case alphabets from a to z it can be any alphabet guys okay so if i give j e t z okay it will match z is there okay matched if i say s e c z it will match s lower case letter from a to z is there so it will match it will say matched if i say capital s it will not match because a to z is lower case only okay any lower case letters from a to z can be given there not matched if you give any Dollar symbol or something, it will not say. It will say not matched. Okay, not matched. Okay, so hope you are able to understand. Now A to Z E D. Okay, the next uh, regular expression here it should be capital letter guys. If you give small S E D, it will not match. You have to give capital capital letter from a, uh, any any capital letter from A to Z. You have to give as a first letter. Okay, not matched. If I give same S E T set, it will match. S E T set B E T bed anything will match. It should be capital though. If you give lower case letter, it will not match. If you give numbers, it will not match. If you give symbols, it will not match. That's common. Okay. Now let's take the next regular expression. It should be the first letter should be any alphabet which can be lower case from A to Z or capital A to Z from A to Z capital letters. It can be or it can be numbers from zero to nine. Okay. So the first letter can be lower case letter from A to Z. It will say matched. It can be a CT set, capital letter, also it will match. Okay. Or it can be a number from 0 to 9, yeah, 980, 980. It will match. You think pattern will match the text. Okay, matched. But if uh, but if you give symbols, it will not match. Okay, hash it, it will not match because only lowercase alphabets or uppercase alphabets are 0 to 9 number. But if you give uh, symbols, it will say not matched. Next one. <laughs> This one, guys. The next regular expression is this one, not of 0 to 9. Okay, the first letter cannot be a numeric value. It cannot be numeric value from 0 to 9. It should be an alphabet or symbol. Okay, if I give SCD set, it will match because SC is not an alpha, uh, it's not a number. Here, cap stands for not. Not should not be, first letter should not be 0 to 9. So, set will match only when you give this number, it will not match. Okay, capital SCD will match. Symbol, symbols will match. If I give dollar here, it will match. Matched. But what if I give a number like uh, 5, which is in the range of 0 to 9, it will say not matched. Not matched. Okay, done. The next one, the last letter can be any letter from A to Z that should be also in lower case. Okay, if I say CT set, Yes, T is in the range of A to Z and it is a lowercase, so it will say matched. And if I give capital T, it will say not matched. Capital T means it's a not matched. It should be lowercase only. Last letter should be lowercase. Okay. Not matched. If I give any uh, number, it will say not matched. Any symbol, it will not, it will say not matched. Okay. Numbers or symbols, it will say not matched. Okay, done. Then we'll go with this next one. Next regular expression is this one. Yes. T and in middle middle letter should not be any of these letters. It should not be any A E I O U letters. Okay. Other than A E I O, if you give any letter in between, that's okay. If you give set here, it will say not matched because 
The middle letter should not be part of A, E, I, O, U. E is there already here. So it should not be E. So it will say not matched. Okay. If I give S, A, T, S, A, T, here A is there. Should not be A. Should not be A. Should not be E. Middle letter should not be A, E, I, O, U. Cannot match. Uh, S, F, T, if I give S, F, T. F is not part of any of these A, E, I, O, U letters. So it will say matched. You can give any number, you can give alpha, uh, you can give capital letters and all those things. Okay. Okay. But it should not be lowercase a, e, i, o, u. Then hash t is nothing but hash t is a short form of 0 to 9, guys. Okay. Instead of giving 0 to 9, for example, here I have give, given 0 to 9 am, right? The same thing here you can give 0 to 9 am. In place of 0 to 9, you can give slash t, guys. Okay. If you are getting error, just give double backward slash. Okay. This is uh, if slash d is not working, give double backward slash t. Okay, so this is nothing but equal to zero to nine. Okay, the first one should be a number case. Okay, should be a dig digit, not matched. If I give something like five of t, it will say matched. Okay, so what is the problem? Where is that slash t zero to nine? It means zero to nine. Sorry, it. Uh, Sorry, this is a uh, AM, right? I have to give AM, guys. That's why it's not matching. If I give 9 AM, it will say not matched. Sorry, matched. Okay, because it should be a number, right? 0 to 9. Okay. If I give an alphabet, SAM, it will say not matched. Okay. Say not matched. This is short form of 0 to 9. Okay. Square bracket 0 to 9. Not matched. Okay. You have to give some number. Pi AM, it will match. Then, next one capital slash t. It is not off. It is an opposite of 0 to 9. It should not be 0 to 9. Okay. You can try this. Guys, okay. You can try this. Uh, if you give slash capital D, it is opposite of slash t. Okay. Lower case d. That is 0 to 9, not 0 to 9. Okay. You give double backward slash if this is not working. If I give numbers, it will say not matched. Other than numbers, it will be matched. Okay. If I give SAM, it will match. If, if I give capital SAM, it will match. If I give some other thing like a, a symbol, it will match. Okay. This is an opposite of this one. Okay. It, it, this is 0 to 9. This is not of 0 to 9. Okay. Now, similarly, we have slash W, which stands for this part. Okay. So, in place, instead of write, if you are getting a situation where you have to write like this, okay. Capital A to Z, lowercase A to Z, 0 to 9, underscore any of these things. Okay. So, it will match like this. For example, cap, capital SAM, it will match. Capital A to Z is there. So, it will match. Uh, lowercase letters A to Z. Okay. S is part of that. So, it will match. If I say 9 a.m., it will match because 0 to 9 is also there, it will match. And apart from that, we have also have an underscore, guys. You see, underscore extra underscore is there. If I give underscore here, then also it will match. Matched. But what if I give some other thing other than if any other symbol, if I give hash a.m., it will give not matched. It will give not matched. Okay. The same thing, this regular expression, whatever uh, shortcut, if I have to write, I have to give slash w. Double backward slash W. Okay, if this is giving error, just say double backward slash instead of single backward slash. Now the same thing applies, it will say not matched. Okay. The same thing. Okay. We have we create not match. Okay. If you give SAM, it will say matched. Capital SAM, it will say matched. It can be capital letter A to Z or lowercase A to Z or numbers from 0 to 9 or underscore also. Okay. If I give 9 a.m. It will match. If I give Underscore also it will match. Okay. Uh, lowercase uh, slash back, backward slash lowercase w is nothing but is equal to this one. If you want to go opposite of this part, you have to give slash capital W. Okay. It should not be, it should not be any of these things. Okay. It cannot be first letter cannot be a, a capital letter, it cannot be a lowercase letter, it cannot be a number, it cannot be an underscore. It it, it can be any other symbol, maybe under, apart from underscore, it can be any other symbol that is. You can try this on, guys. Okay. Slash S means slash T, slash N. Back, uh, these are uh, escape characters. Okay. If you, if you want to represent escape characters, okay, it is a short form for this one. Okay. Any of these escape characters can be given as part of the things. Okay. Here, capital S means not of. Opposite of this one, guys. Okay. Apart from escape characters, can be anything. Okay. Here, starts with my. Okay. The next one. Okay. This, this you can try it, guys. Okay. I'll go with this one. Starts with my. If I give something like this, my name is Arun Motori. 
So do you think it will match or it will not match? It will not match. You see, it starts with my is fine, but after my there is a lot of text which is not mentioned in the pattern. So it will return not matched. It will return not matched. If I put only my, then it will match. Starts with yes, it is starting with my, right? So if you want to say my name is Arun, something like this, my name is uh, Arun Motori, if you want to give and if you still want it to match, it is starting with my and should end with anything, dot star, you have to give dot star, it can end with zero or any number of characters, okay, or symbols or numbers or anything, you see it will match, okay, this is how we have to write, starts with, cap means starts with my, dollar means ends with Arun, okay, so here if I write something like this, up to Arun, my name is Arun, and if I write uh, Arun dollar, do you think it will match? No. You see, definitely it is ending with Arun. Okay. Arun dot you have to give. Otherwise, I'll, I'll remove the dot. It's okay. It will cause confusion. Arun dollar is there. Okay. Arun dollar is there. So here it's ending with Arun. That's fine. But the problem is, what about my name is? This is not matching, right? This pattern is not matching with my name is. It's only matching with ending with Arun. Okay. So it will say not matched. So I'll write down dot asterisk. Okay. It can be any number of zero or any number of characters before Arun and it should end with Arun. Okay. Now it will match. It will match. Okay. That's it. So this next uh, regular expression a dot dot n. Okay. Two dots are there. If only one dot is there, one, one letter or one number or one symbol can be filled here. Okay. But what about this one? This is also another. Okay. Two letters should be there. Two letters or two numbers or two. Uh, symbols or uh, two uppercase, two lowercase, whatever then can be. For example, if I give Arun, it will match. You see, the two two uh, filling blanks have been filled with RU. Okay, A and N are matching. The before and after letters are matching. So it is called matched. Okay, if I give only A, R, N, it will not match. Because here two letters should be there. Two things should be there. Okay, or only one is there. If I give 99, it will match. If I say A dollar dollar N, it will match. Okay, like that is. Okay. Now this is the part already I covered, I guess. Uh, okay, this one I'll take it. I'll tell you what is this. It should start with my. In between, it can be anything. Zero or any number of characters can be there, and but it should end with Arun. Okay. So if I write something like this, my name is Arun. If I write down, so it will match. You see, it's starting with my. Yes. In between, it can be any characters, zero or any number of characters, and it should end with Arun. Yes, it's ending with Arun. So it will say matched. What if I give something like this? Uh, my name is Arun Motori. If I write, then it will not match because one of the rule is breaking. It's starting with my. It's starting with my guys. In between, it can be anything. It can in between it can be anything, but it should end with Arun. But it's not ending with Arun. It's ending with Motori, my last name. Okay, so it will say not match like this. Then the next one. If I use this regular expression, what will happen? Let's see. Okay, so here dot plus earlier dot hashtag was there, dot star was there, now dot plus is there. Dot hashtag means zero or any number of times. This thing can be repeated zero or any number of times, but dot plus means one or minimum one. Okay, minimum one or any number. For example, if I say hashtag here, okay, I can write my Arun, I can write, no problem. Okay, you see it's starting with my, ending with Arun ending with Arun and in between there can be zero or any number of characters. So here in between my and Arun, there are zero characters. So it will match. It will match case. Okay. But if I give plus here, there is a problem. Plus means one or more number of times. Dot star means this dot is repeated. Star means zero or any number of times. But dot plus means if you are putting plus after the dot means this dot is repeated one minimum one to any number of times. That means here at least one letter should be there in between my and Arun. It starts with my, it's end with Arun, but that's okay. But here at least one letter should be there one or any number of times. Right click run as job application. You will see not matched. If I say my space Arun, it will match. At least one thing should be there. It can be space or number or alphabet. Should it? It's, okay. If I say my name is, it will match. It can be one to any number of, okay, but it cannot be zero guys. Okay. It cannot be zero. Okay. It's matching. Hope you are able to understand the difference between dot hashtag and dot plus dot hashtag means uh, zero or any number of times. This dot is repeated zero the before thing. Okay. If you provide dot before something that dot or whatever the character or whatever you provide, it should be repeated 
zero or any number of times. Dot can be a character, dot can be a symbol, dot can be a letter, anything. You can put it here. In place of dot also you can put something. And say plus means one or any number of times, okay? For example here guys, if I put uh, my A star Arun, okay? So here if I write like this, my Arun will match. This A can be either zero or repeated any number of times, okay? Zero times is matching, right? So match will come. If I say my A one time, yes, it will match. Match will come. If I give one more A, it will match. This A can be zero or any number of times, okay? So zero to any number of times. What if I give A plus here, instead of dot plus, if I give A plus, this before character, it can be a dot or character or symbol or anything, need to be at least one or more than one number of times. So here, zero times is there, you will get not matched. No A is there in between my own, so it will say not. At least one A is there, it will match. One or any number of times, okay? Again, one more A. So dot and asterisk, uh, asterisk and plus you have to understand guys. Asterisk means the before character should be either zero or any number of times. Plus means the before character or any symbol or any dot or anything should be one or any number of times. That's what is the main panda you have to understand. So you have also have one more thing known as question mark guys. Okay, I'll give you the question mark thing here. I copy pasted the regular expression. Here before thing is dot guys. This question mark means either zero or one time. Okay, if I give my own, this dot is treated as Anything that is zero times, okay? Zero or one time. Question mark means this this dot is repeated zero or one time matched. If I give my space, it will match zero or one only, okay? If I give one more space, it will not match. Two is not allowed. Only zero or one is allowed. You see, not matched, okay? Like that. Then let's go with this regular expression. The more you practice a regular expression, more better you will become, guys. Okay? It should start with my yes, it is matching, and in between. The dot should be repeated in, inside the curly braces you mentioned two times. That means the dot should be two times, okay? If I give five means five dots. If you give two means two dots, okay? So here, if I give my Arun, there is a problem. Starting with my, ending with Arun, that's okay. But in between, there should be two dots. Two letters or two spaces or two, anything should be there, okay? It's mandatory, okay? Two times it should be there. But here, not matched is coming. If I give space here, no, it's compulsory. Two times, compulsory, two things should be there. If I give run as my own, oh, this is only one time, so not matched. If I give one more space, now it will match. Two, okay, two times. It, if I give my 99 around, it will match. If I give my triple nine around, it will not match because this dot is only repeated two times, okay, in the regular expression. So it will say not matched, okay, like that case, okay. So this one type symbol is coming now, either low, uh, Java or Java here. We can either give Java, it will match because it should be either Java or Java. Okay. So if I give Java, the first letter is lowercase, it will match. If I give capital Java, yes, the left side of this pipe symbol is Java or Java. Okay. So it will match. But if I give any other thing other than this Java, Java, it will not match. Okay. If I give Python or something, it will not match. Okay. Either it should be Java, the left side one, or if you have a group of regular expressions, you have to divide this with the pipe symbol. Okay. That's what I mean to say. Either left side regular expression or right side regular expression. Not matched. Then we have this one. So this, uh, this means a single character only, single thing only. Either it can be in the range of A to D or M to B. Okay. If I give A, it will match. A is in the range of A to D, right? A, B, C, D will match. Okay. Only one character only. A, B, C, D will match. So if I give C here, it will match, which C is in the range of A to D, it will match. Then if I give D, it will match. If I give M, it will match. If I give O, it will match. If I give P, it will match. Either this range or this range should match, okay? M and O, P, anything will match. Either A, B, C, D or M, N, O, P. If you give any other thing other than, you see T is not there in A, B, C, D. T is not there in M, N, O, P, okay? T is outside both the ranges. So it will say not matched, like that. Then this one, and, and, and means both the conditions should be satisfied. It should be one of the letters from D, E, F, and it should be in the range of A to Z, okay? Like that, okay? Both the conditions should be matched, okay? Both should be match. Both should match. That means if I give, uh, again, if I give uh, if A to Z means T should match, right? But it will not match because 
this part is matching, but T is not part of DEF, so it will not match. You see, not matched. I have to give, for example, if I give E, E is part of A to Z, and DEF also it's part of, E is also one of the letter of the DEF, so it will match. It will say match like that, okay? Both the conditions should match. Here, A to Z and not BC. It should be A to Z, but not BC means, apart from BC, you can give anything. Not of BC means it should not be BC, okay? Single letter only, except BC, any letter from A to Z you can give, okay? So I'll just uh, go a bit fast. It, it can be, it should be A to Z, but it should not be in the range of M to B. M and O P you should not give. Apart from M and O P, you can give any letter, okay? B question mark, it means this B can be repeated zero or one times. You can write it, you can write BAT, zero or one times only, okay? This B can be repeated zero or one times, okay? Either that or it will match. B plus means one or many number of times. B A T B B A T B B B A T will match. Okay. B hashtag means this before letter should be zero or any number of times. That it means it will match. B A T will match. B B A T will match. B B B A T will match. B B B B B A T will match. Or kind of so on. Okay. These are already completed, guys. So I'm just going first. B of two means two is compulsory. Okay. If you say A T or B A T, it will not work. B B A T only will match. Two times B should be there in the beginning. If you say B, this this one I'll explain. If you say B in the curly braces, if, you, if I say two comma, anything means minimum two to any maximum. Minimum two should be there and maximum can be anything. So that means B, A, T, this will give not matched because here minimum two is there, here only one I am giving, so it will say not matched. If I give B, B, A, T, two times B is there, A, T is there, so it will match. Minimum two, two B's should be there. It will match. If I give three B's, it will match. Three B's or four B's or five B's, everything will match, okay? Minimum two B's should be there. Here B two comma four, it means minimum two times two, maximum four, four times of B should be there. B's can be two times, three times, four times, kind of, okay? So if I give B80, it will say not matched, okay? If I see 80 also, it will not match. This B should be minimum two times or four times repeated. So if I give B here, one time, so minimum is two, maximum is four times. B80 will uh, match, will not match. If I say BB, two times it is matching. Minimum minimum range is minimum times is matching. So it will say match. If I give three times, it will match because it is in the range of two to four only, it will match. And if I give BBB80, four times B, yes, four times is also fine. It will match. But if I give five times, it will say not matched. Okay, up to four, four times only, it can be repeated. Minimum two times to four, maximum four times. It will say not matched. So this is all about the regular expressions, guys. Okay, this much of regular regular expression knowledge in Java is more than enough for the next session. Okay, so you have to understand that in Cucumber, uh, if you see here, guys, if you go to this uh, uh, here, for every feature file we created the step definition class. If you go to one of the step definition class like this login or something, you can see some regular expressions are there. You see dot plus is there. You are you'll not be able to understand this dot plus without understanding this regular expression. Okay, you see starts with ends with. Okay, this is nothing but a regular expression, guys. This part is a pattern or regular expression or regex. Whatever you are providing before the method, okay, this portion is nothing but in the double quotes, whatever the thing you are providing is nothing but a pattern or regular expression or regex. Okay, we should match with the feature file step. Okay, this is a string test that this particular regular expression should match with. For example, uh, if you go to this uh, login, user enters valid email address, email is there. Okay, to match with that, okay user enters valid, you see, starts with user. Yes, it is starting with user. This text is starting with user and ending with what? Uh, ending with something, that's okay. Enters valid email address is there. Is it matching? Enters valid email address is matching. And the last part is, it can be anything. It can be anything. So here, anything is treated as dot place. Why the circular brackets? I'll tell you later, okay? Circular brackets, I'll tell you later, guys. Okay, that's a different story. Dot place, you have to consider, okay? Dot place means what? It can be any character, any symbol, any number, which is repeated one and more number of times, one or more number of times, if you have the knowledge, okay? Dollar means ending with, okay? You see it's ending with this uh, this part only. So dollar is coming, okay? Dot plus dollar is coming, that's the reason, okay? Now you'll be able to understand how we are writing the regular expressions in the step definition before the methods, before every method, okay, in the step definition class, you are writing this regular expression beside this at the right given or at the right when then, and kind of cucumber annotations, okay? So how to write these regular expressions and all to understand that I have explained about these regular expressions as a prerequisite topic. In the next session, uh, I will demonstrate uh, some examples of uh, using this regular expression knowledge 
to write the matching uh, patterns or regular expression to match the feature file statements in the feature files. Okay. So guys, that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye.